and it was so peaceful on this day that I watched the stars fall down with my Goomba buddy, and it left me so undeniably speechless that when I walked over to the bridge and met my match, I knew everything was going to be fine. Ouch! Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry, I'm a huge hurry, I'm in a huge hurry. Really? Oh, it's your, your Mario, aren't you? Thanks to the stars that found you. Smiled, noops. How do you do? I'm Twink. Brace is Peach to ask me to bring something to you. Uh, yes, here it is, in my back pocket. This is it, take it. She's got the action command. The star-shaped pendant lets you command the actions. That's the lucky star for Princess Peach. Now that's it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? Probably not, sorry. This is important, Mario. I think you'll want to know about this. No, I'm sorry, fine. No, okay, great. I don't even have to explain. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific. You'll be much too over a battle now. Here you are! What? What is this? <laughs> well, it can't be. W were you following me? What? A foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Ken Cooper to retire me with praise, forgive me, a raise, and then I'll die. Here I come, but goodbye. Oh, by the way, Heads of Tubbians is actually a crazy maximal paper Mario. This is what's happening now. And if you couldn't see what... Well, I skipped out the explanation clearly because I needed to explain this quite personally. What we got was the action command. So now it's actually able to do more damage than just the one. So you can do commands during the attacks so you can make things a little bit better for yourself. Magic can use magical rods, eight, three, and zero. Magic attacks are no joke, Mario. You better take these guys seriously. Gee, thanks. And the best part about this is you can guard for less damage, provided you know which frame to press it on. So, realistically, I'm doing a decent amount of damage to this guy, like, at least. Well, instead of doing two damage every turn, I'm now doing four damage every turn with these basic attacks. Yeah, it, ha it has to be just before the attack hits you, by the way. And I'm sure that if I use the power jump, I will do a lot more damage anyway. We got more star points for us now! Pop point. Well... Hot pie is just gone now. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. And Twink just flies off into the vast expanse of the world. Wait, what? Oh dear. I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. Uh, uh, that's exactly what she said. I get the feeling though, that, that she's very lonely, possibly dead. I didn't think I gave her an auction mask or anything. Uh, anyway, I'll do my best to help the world for you. I'll help Peach too, to breathe. But please be brave. Uh, I'll, you must save this woman I'm saving. Or he's saving her from oxygen. You know, you know what? This joke is old. Forget it. There it goes. Back to Bowser's castle. Oh, what a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business to defeat the Bowser. <laughs> if only I knew more lyrics to that song, I would continue that joke, but I am not good. Anyways, so now that we are here, we're actually nearing the beginning of Chapter 1, so that's swell. But not only that... Oh, Mario! Mario, I was looking for you. There's a house with a spinning roof. That's what it's telling you to go meet him at his house. It was just a phone up for you, but here you are! He's glad for Mario to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric, even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Well, thanks for telling me. But what if I want to just go to the next area? I want to go this way. Wait a minute, who, what? What? Okay. You don't want to go out there, it's way too dangerous. Try to go across the would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely not go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't go ask old man Merle for help. That would be really bad news for us. I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. 
Most video game subtlety, am I right? Huh, huh, huh. Anyways, I have like, I'll cut this trip out, but I have like five health anyway. I mean, you've seen this animation already. Fresh your body and soul, and then my soul and body was refreshed. But anyways, it turns out that I actually missed a star piece immediately. What do you gotta do? You gotta you smack this. I mean, you smack the tree. You got one right there. And those are all the subjects I can get as of the prologue. And what's gonna happen is, after we finish a chapter, because we will get new stuff in chapters, and what after, after a chapter's done, the prologue in the, well, like, the little intermission will be spent collecting star pieces, alright? So now you know. Moron is out! Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you he's out! Smack. What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Oh, me. No, yes, it must be. Yeah, Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, yeah, now come, come in. Goodbye. Goes, meanders his way in. Wait a begin. My name is Merlin, and I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an orb came to me. What I discovered is very important, it concerned you. But, before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It's a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Well, it's done. It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was out punching and he saw something and as usual. But one day it happened. Suddenly a great appeared and I found face to face. Then the power of the beers was raised up to be amazing. I was still young, so then I, mean, I believe them, but our hearts were and then so. Morse code. Or braille, I don't know. And it was apparently still the same piece of dialogue as well. Can't even change it back anyway. And that is all that matters. <laughs> Mario, why are you me? Oh, yes, I was, really. Oh, all right. So, anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during an adventure, you can come to me. You might get protected. You should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to get me some Convonia as quickly as humanly possible. But, according to my second sight, your map must first take you to the Great Fortress of the Cooper Bros. You reached the Cooper Rose Borders, hit east on the road in front of the road house. Right. But I've been there. I've been there already. Come again? Strange toes, my knees out of town. That never shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. I think it's never heard of. Never. I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow you over there. I'll see what's going on. Is that copying gimmick old yet? It was a stupid little thing that started off. Much like Bowser's speech. It was one little thing that kicked it off into this uh, concurring thing. It's probably gonna stay there, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll change my own voice in the future. Oh, there's a strange toad you're talking about. Look at that future, anyway. I told you that you can't pass. Take off. You sure? Hmm. You aren't toads, are you? Um, we don't know what a shirt is. Yeah, well, what it gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute old nerd toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves! Sonic Boom! Ah, I forget. Hmm, just as I spot you're the Google Bros! <laughs> How do you guess it was us? We are perfectly disguised. Shucks, black, yellow, green. We would treat for now. Yeah! Alright, well, those impulses were none other than the Google Bros. You must pursue them to that hell down, the Google Bros. Fiatures. Oh, and there's one part of your filter I haven't revealed yet. Uh, to get the Cooper's Fortress, you'll need help from a blue shell Cooper. This is a strange portent. In Cooper Village, you might find something that will clear it up. You know, like a blue shell power up from the GS Mario's. I mean, I must return home now. These four fall breaks are getting too hard enough for me. But we entered to the loading screen. Storming Cooper's Fortress, and it looks like we have a, so a star with slippers to save as the first one. But we need to wait here for a little while because something happens.
It's a bit like to talk a song and most of the games that he composed for. But I guess this is Koji Kondo, so I guess it's not. Anyways, continue on to <laughs> the chapter one. Anyways, we have this area, which will be important later on. We have a new enemy too, which is the Koopas. And you can make first strikes, mind you. We've already explained this, but you can make first strikes. So let's just have, um, Talon on that Koopa Trooper. Yes, Koopa Trooper! Everybody knows Koopa Trooper! They're Bowser's followers, and they have six shades on this game. The shells are hard. If you can't flip them over, you can never have to fall to zero, and it'll become much easier for you to beat them. You can flip them with a power walk or a jump attack. And you could easily just, like, smack them with a hammer, I'm not sure if that works at all. Speaking of hammer, we have a hammer throw, which is alright. But I'd rather just, um, murder this Goomish right away, so he's out of the way and doesn't do much damage. And this guy will mainly just spend his time trying to get back up again. Which he did! And we can just end up murdering his face right now, with the two damage and everything. I mean, we already gained two, like, star points from the Goombas, at least. How much did we gain from the Koopas? I guess around four. No, just two again. He had four overall, but just not just two, you know. No, it just works. We got those coins. Somehow we managed to pick them all up in one fell swoop. There is this guy too. There's not a hidden thing there. Shame, what a shame. Didn't even think of something else. Now it's just this here. Huh? That was close. I almost jumped on the spike goomba, and you know, spike goombas are bad. Skipping it. Actually not, this would be a good time to show the hammer for at least. One, two, three. You gotta pull it back and throw it. Just so you know how this works. And, uh... I'm gonna do, do nothing this time. Nice one. I mean, yeah. Pretty much the hammer is just that. You just hold it back and swing it down. It's a very interesting thing, anyway, with the action commands. I mean, the action commands are actually really fun to use as well. And we got a badge! Well, what's this badge? A dizzy attack! There is a blow that makes an enemy dizzy and able to move. Uh, how many stop? Yep, yeah, might as well hold on to it right now. Because, you know. It's, it's fine, really, because we have the this, this space anyway. Then we got a Fright Jar, which is a make enemies force run from battle. But that's the main point. We got a Power Block, too, which will be useful at some point. Smack this. Got a Switch. It's almost as if I solved the puzzle. Paper! Gimmick! Right. Anyone else new here? Or am I just gonna have to skip this battle again? And now we're at 44 star points, because, you know, it's a trap! It was always a trap! But as you can see now, our spin attack has actually changed a little, because now we have this blue blur. And a star piece we can't get! Rats! Probably there was some way to grab that star piece. But I guess there's not, so we have nothing. Another sleepy sheep, guess we can pick that up. Nothing hidden there. Just a lot of nothing involving these blocks, really. A lot of nothing. Nothing even hidden. Ah, I see! A coin block that I'm gonna screw up on. Well, at least we have this. So basically what this speed thing does... Wait a minute. I think that the senior was <laughs> talking to me. What he's looking at me. What is this? So you have a way to heal yourself, just in case you didn't know. Honey syrup, that heals your FP. And that thing just kind of keeps doing its reggae star theme over and over again until you get things done. Anyways, so we have, I think if I remember correctly, it's this way. Wait, what? Ah, oh, no, never mind. It's some way you beat those three blocks that something happens. Oh, hey, something's gonna kill me. Hello, B. Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village. Uh, I wish we could really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Great! Uh, I can't just see what kind of madness is going on. No, because the camera hasn't panned yet. This village is in an uproar because of the fuzzies. You do know what the fuzzies are, don't you? Don't you, Mario? You know what they like? They look like this. That's what they look like, really. Mean guys. They're really naughty. Rats! That sums up social media right there. 
I'm gonna take this screenshot, post it to Facebook. And everyone's gonna get it. Oh look, it's the one that fuzzies. I mean, oh stupid fuzzy. Get back here with my shell! Great, so these things are stealing these shells of the Coopers. Let's see if we can murder them maliciously. Also, I like that weird vest shawl that they have when they don't have shells on, because I don't know. Thank you, Mario. I owe you one. I just can't walk around without my shell. I'm talking about embarrassing. Mario, be sure to keep your shell safe from fuzzies, alright? Oops, you don't have one. Well, watch your overalls. That way to fuel that fire. Anything here? Just coin. What the guy? Uh, Fuzzy, please. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get, you, get, get out. Leave, leave, leave. Leave. I could probably not even do a single thing to this fuzzy, they're just like cosmetic. But this guy over here has lost his shell. Save him though. There's an item shop over there too, which because it's a flower. You look best, thank you very much. Thanks. That guy's got his shell stuck in a tree! I was chuck it up in the tree, I blame the fuzzies. It must be their fault. All the time. Thanks, Mario. The, the shell was made of water, that's why it fits me so well. I mean, how cool do I look? Well, I must say, you are pretty nifty. We got a Koopa Leaf, though. So now we have, a, like, a free FP fill. And we also have a save point, so let's, uh, save our game here. And there's actually a Koopa in this village that's gonna be very important later on. I say later on, but you know. Oh, we, we can't carry any more items, so let's just throw around a Koopa Leaf and let it rot. Gotta sneak up on the thing. Slow down. Why don't you even just go on in that middle house? It's, like, exploding. Ha, dip. The fuzzy took that fuzzy took my shell. Ran after him, but I just laughed and told it at me. Ha! Ah, you just gotta sneak up on it. That makes sense. Watch it as fuzzy runs away. Then he gets his shell back on. Good. Thank you! That was a lot of exciting voice. Typical Mario style. You're just as cool as I heard you were. Gee, thanks for that. What's this you say? Block puzzles? I didn't know these existed in Mario games. Even in RPGs, I don't think block puzzles exist in RPGs at all. And there's that. We saw what actually happened to the shell anyway. One well, might have known! You're so clever, Mario. Might have known! It's also this here, which will be important later on, don't worry. And there's a fuzzy in that tree anyway. What's going on in this house? Who's there? I'm, I'm kinda busy right now. What? That guy's got blue feet! What? Wait, could it be? Aren't you Mario? You are! My name's Cooper. I'm so psyched to meet you. Just meeting here has gotta be thanks or something. I need a huge favor. I hope you help me out. See, uh, this what? Fuzzy. Took my shell, which next to life is the most important thing I have. I can't go out with my shell, period. Way too embarrassing. That's why I'm standing here right now in the public talking to you. Problem is the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch alone. So if you don't mind, can you help me get my shell back? Uh, I'm begging you. He bows to me also. Hey Mario, it looks like he's in a bad way. We gotta help him out. The fuzzy that just took my shell is just inside my house. I'll guard the door while you grab him. Womp. Right. What with the womping. Let's see if I can say this. Oh, this man's it has got a beachy place. Me York. And Mindy. And he just jumped through the house. Gee, thanks. It's nice to see how you to face the laws of gravity right now. Or at least physics. No fuzzies in the background too. Do we even get to fight one of these guys? I'm pretty sure we do. And there's that too. Ah! Yes! Well, might as well get this encounter out of the way. Got fuzzies. Don't even have FP to murder their faces. But I can just jump on their faces. Well, you know, too many uses of the word face. This is a fuzzy. Why do fuzzies always jump up and down? They need to chill out. Nice to be free attack by one defense by zero. The problem with fuzzies is their quickness. It's really tough to time their attacks. They latch on you and watch out, they'll absorb your HP. This is the, probably one of the more annoying enemies you fight if you don't know how to guard them against. One, two, damn it. Something like that. One, two, before that. And I got it correctly. So I'll let this guy stay alive. Ah, 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 stay alive. Well, that was gonna happen anyways, so and someone's just gonna end up dead. In one turn or another. It's gonna take one more turn, because it's how conventional works. One, two, before then. Right, so one, 
two, three, but not necessarily the three. If you understand what I mean, at least you can see like the timing for when you need to pull off those fuzzy attacks. And for honestly, the more complicated the things get, the stuff gets a little fuzzy. Like memory. All right, you know, I stretched too far for that trick to work. The thing is running away from me. Get back here. Great. What are you doing? What what are you doing? Meork, meork. Come get it if you can. Yeah, yeah. Great. Meork, guess where I'm hiding? Let's see if we can solve this puzzle. He's over there. No, he's over there. One there, right there, over there. I haven't played shell game. Get it? It's a shell game. It's funny. Because the fuzzies have the shell that we need to get. Smack him. It's the right guy. Almost off the shell. Me, oh, not bad, chump. But that was just a warm up. Me, look at where I'm hiding. What are you gonna try this time? Ah, some slicker movements. I see. You're still over there, though. You're too down for me. I live in apartment 22B, so I can understand how far away you are. And that strain wasn't even that straight away. York, me, York, you got me twice. You must have been luck. Now I'm serious. I assume that if I get this wrong, I just fight a fuzzy. Mirror, guess where I'm hiding? Okay, this might be a little bit difficult to do. Thanks, the same tree. Yes, it is. <laughs> Me, oh no! I give uncle. Here, take the stupid shell. Doesn't need it anyway. You're too tough for me. I won't be bad anymore, I promise. Maybe. Right? Let's see if we can leave home. It will be fun. Mario, there you are. I realize I haven't taken the sand against these fuzzies. If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. Uh, I don't even care that I have my sh no shell on. I'm gonna show those fuzzies what's what. Um, you don't gotta show that, bruh. This one. See? Oh, yes, yes, this is my shell, alright. And this is Happy Dance. Yeah, yeah, got my shell back, uh -huh. you're the greatest, Mario. I you big time. Put sit on. Now he's got a nice neck and too. Mm, good to hear you're happy. Right. Mm, say, Mario, I I have an idea. Do, do, do you have no Professor Colorado? Uh, I've been to Colorado. I haven't been to Colorado. Now he's a Koopa who's a professor in archaeology. You know, he's also known as the Explorer. Right, well, uh, I live next to him. I've been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was in my egg. That brings in a whole new meaning to the phrase total born shell, I don't know. Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world, solving mysteries like he does. So, what do you think? Could I? Oh, please save me from Mario. Oh, come on, let it go! What do you think, Mario? <laughs> yeah, why not? Oh, yeah, I'm on my way! I swear, I, Cooper, will follow you anywhere to the ends of the earth. Cooper has joined the party now, tap him while singing, that's really bad. Every thing you know will make him throw himself and return an item will switch in the distance. Given while in battle, he can attack an enemy on the ground with shell toss and he can also tackle enemies on the ground with power shell. When you want to switch your partner, press right knee and second the one you want to use. Again, I apologize. I'm really bad. Mirror. Great. Hmm, I changed my mind. So good. How about a fight? Okay. So if we didn't talk to these guys before, we have another chance to. But, you know, let's just kind of show off how cool Cooper is. Well, I can't do that right now, so let's just, um, use one of these Cooper leaves to restore the FP needed. Because Cooper right here has a very nice attack, and he specializes on attacking enemies on the ground anyway. So you can just throw a shell, you have it, much like a hammer. Or you can throw a shell all enemies on the ground. This is incredibly useful. As you can see. Fire the FP, I would do it again. One, two, damn it. One, two, there you go. One, two, damn it. One, two, defend this raging pattern. I'm gonna just uh, jump with this guy back here. I think maybe I will just go ahead and do like a backwards rotation with the level ups anyway, because from what I can see right now, I actually really need FP. Because it's really useful to have a lot of FP. 
So, what's going to happen is, a bunch of badge points which we've already upgraded, and then once we've done that, we'll go straight to FP, and then we'll go to HP. Because, sure, I can do a Danger Mario run. No, I'm not. I'm not. It's a stupid idea anyway. Because I will screw it up. Big time. So, that type of run is usually saved for browsing your door. Which I have yet to fully play, or even own. Miracle now! We'll be good, we'll be good! Here gone! Good for them! Actually, never mind the HP thing, because right now, we can slap right there, pick up the HP Plus badge. Which, if you didn't know, HP Plus badge costs 3 FP to use. So what am I not using right now? I'm not using a lot of power jump, so let's just sacrifice that for now. So I'm not really using the dizzy attack either. Because, well, you can actually get a first, first strike in battles using Koopa, which is very nice. And other partners down the road will have the same effect too, so that's great. So the only thing I can assume that we can do right now is, well, after cutting all those things out and change- Whoa, wait a minute. It's not a shell this time, and I said there's a star piece. So much for redundancy. Time to go. Ah, it's you! Time to meet a very new character that has, surprisingly enough, 64 iterances in this entire game. And it's gonna be very frustrating to get, so whenever you see it in the LP, you'll see it. But, you know, it's not gonna be guaranteed. I'll probably show off all of them at some point, but, you know, it's strange. Oh, Wills! Jack Wills was the name of quizzes on my game. You want quizzes on Gotham? If you can manage to get onto my brain, but some questions for me, man, you. Hoo, I'll give you a star, peace. Want to try a quiz? Oh, yeah, then let's get to the question. What the hell, Luigi? What are you doing in there? Question. What is the name of Kumbaria's younger sister? Kumbaria. Sure, it's Goombalina. Congrat Congratulations! Here's your star piece. You've correctly answered the question so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long. Farewell. Do we meet again? I'm Jack Wismo, and I'll disappear with a flick of my hat and a whip of my dad. Right. So that's Jack Wismo. He'll appear randomly. And, well, I won't get into him now, but he will be a nuisance later on, considering how often it takes, or how long it would take to get all star pieces from him. We've got seven star pieces though, which is nice. And realistically we have 17, well 15 hard points, so it's nice. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Big Mario. In the next episode, we'll see this mysterious color other guy, and I'll look up some more information on star pieces. Because, to be honest, I don't know every location of star pieces, really. See you next time.